Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do velocity camera movement on Premiere Pro. Please make sure that your clip has been time remapped already before following this tutorial. I've already made a video on this which you can check out in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is mark your beats. So I've got one at the very start. What I'm going to do is press M on my keyboard to create a marker. I'm going to find the next beat and press M once again so it's around here. This shouldn't really be a problem if you followed the previous guide. Placing these markers just makes it so much easier when adding keyframes. So I'm just going to repeat this with every single beat. I do have some flash effects added on as well so that makes it even easier. So I'm just going to do that and the final one which is around here. So I'm just going to press M. So these markers are where the keyframes will go. Next you want to create an adjustment layer. So head over to your product tab and right click new item adjustment layer and click OK. Now grab the adjustment layer and place it on top of your clip and extend it all the way to the end matching its duration. Then head over to effects and search for the transform effect underneath distort. Drag this onto the adjustment layer. Now head back into effect controls, scroll down and you want to set a keyframe for the position, the scale and rotation. Make sure that your playhead is at the very start when you do this. I do not recommend following what I'm going to do step by step because your clip will look different. So use my settings as an example. So what I'm going to do now is head to the next marker which is around here. I'm going to firstly increase the scale so I'm going to go 125 and I'm going to shift the position up like so and maybe a bit to the left because my character is looking to the left so you know it kind of does work and I might also decrease the rotation to negative one. Let me just adjust the position a bit more. There you go. And now what I'm going to do is open up the graph. So if you click this tiny arrow next to the stopwatch for all of them, so position, scale and also rotation, it's going to bring them down. Now what you want to do is follow me. So click on your second keyframe and you see this handle here Pull it all the way to the left. It shouldn't be too difficult for the position but for the scale you want to make sure that your graph is smooth. So if I do it for this one make sure that your graph is not too high or too low. It should be on level like that so you can see it curves very smoothly. Now if it was not smooth it will look like this and this will ruin the smoothness of your scale. So make sure that it curves properly and repeat this with the rotation as well. So pull it all the way to the left just like that. There you go. So this is what I've got for the first half, which looks pretty good. Now I'm going to move to the second, uh, sorry, the third point, which is the third marker. And let's go for somewhere on the uh, right side. So somewhere over here. And I'm going to change the rotation as well. So the first thing I did was shift the position to move it to the right. Next, I'm going to change the rotation. So let's go maybe 0.5 like that. Maybe also decrease the scale so from 125 to 115 which means I need to readjust my values so for example the position and we're just going to push it to the left and slightly down. Once again graph these so grab the handle for my next keyframe and you can see it's a, it's a little bit difficult because we've got three keyframes in total so the best way to graph these two values is by either zooming in so you can just use this bar at the bottom to zoom in like that or what you can do is highlight the other keyframes so because all we're doing at the moment is focusing on these two or should I say four because there are four in total uh, what we can do is get rid of these temporarily at the start so if you just highlight them and right click cut then you can graph them so I'm just going to do the bottom one because the top one is already done put it like that and then I can paste them back so if I head back to the start right click paste I've now got them back so yeah whichever method you prefer but let's take a look Okay, not bad. Next keyframe, so this marker here. And first, I'm going to change the rotation instead. Let's go 0.5. Actually, I've already done that. So let me do negative 0.5. There you go. And I'm going to, I'm not going to change the scale actually. I'm going to keep it on hold. So what I'm going to do is not change the value, but just place a another keyframe. So if I just click this, never mind. That just caused more problems because for some reason, even though the value here, is the same so this is 115 so is this in between it i don't know why it kind of like fluctuates you can see it's dropping to 114 and the only way to fix it is literally by like you know adjusting the graph and that just takes extra effort there's it's not it's not worth it so i'm actually going to get rid of that and instead decrease it to 105 and then move the position to the left somewhere here and then a bit down that looks fine and then graph these as well so to the right 
like that and then to the right sorry to the left apparently i don't know which way is left or right but yeah that's done some of these graphs look a little bit weird for some reason this one has like a arc at the at the start compared to the other ones which are just regular curves but it shouldn't be an issue if it is then obviously we can make any changes let's see how that looks like for me this actually doesn't look too bad it might be because of my clip so if it does look a little bit like weird uh, for you that we can do is just pull this handle down just to make sure that they are kind of like matching the other graphs below it so yeah overall it looks a bit smoother so yeah final keyframe i'm going to go 125 once again move the position up over here and rotation let's go one i think i feel like i've been using one and also negative one a bit too much we'll see though once i graph this so to the left to the left like that and also to the left oh and by the way don't forget to move your final keyframe so these last three to the end of your clip so just highlight them push them back and that should look better so let's take a look i'm a bit nervous because i feel like my this is my second attempt and my first one was pretty good but this one i feel like there's something wrong so okay not bad i don't really feel any rotation around this part here maybe it's because the values are so close to zero so i could change this to one instead for example and the next one as well so change this to no sorry change this one to negative one let's see if that's a bit better okay yeah i think it is this last one though i'm just going to increase it a bit more so let's go maybe two then push it to the end all right now it looks pretty good i'm happy with the result members thank you for your support as always the project file will be available to you for free